Warner's kidnap, Kublai Khan, the great Khan. On the night of his daughter's kidnap, Kublai Khan, the great Khan. Well, I've been swimming. Uh, 
Uh, it was a dream, wasn't it? Yes! Well, not even a dream, if truth be told. Just something I made up this morning, on my way here. I need the money, if truth be truthfully told. Look, go away. Come back when you've got some real stories. But don't come back to the woman again. Understand? Yes, Your Excellency. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I'll be off and I'll never tell a tall tale as long as I live. Next. Your Excellency, Signor Farfalla is my name. Welcome, Signor. Your tale, if you please. We are in the far reaches of the East, Your Excellency, being the first, we think, to reach these lands. After we made shore, we started inland, and for weeks we walked without adventure and without seeing another living soul. Then, on the 20th day, I got separated from the rest of the men somehow. Alone I wandered until I came to a village. The people looked worn and tired, so I asked them, using gestures to understand if anything was wrong. They answered that a great sadness had gripped the land ever since the daughter of their great ruler had been kidnapped. The next day, just as I was about to leave, an old woman beckoned me to follow her. We followed the course of a river until we came to a mountain, high with fertile slopes, covered in beautiful orchids and greenery that was a sight to behold. I thought we were going to turn back, but she called on me to climb with her. I had problems keeping up, but within a few hours, we were at its summit with a view of what seemed like the entire world. And there on top was a stone, shaped like a poised animal, unnatural looking, but definitely hard to the touch. And she said, this was the solution. She gestured excitedly, and I understood her clearly.
The world is all blue. One color. Is this possible? Me. 
Maine blues, which stand that night as even as a thing, that suddenly for blank astonishment charmed every sense and made all thought take wing. A solitary maid, and she went, singing and gathering flower after flower, and which her way was painted and bespent.
another girlfriend. I see. You didn't agree to meet them all at the same time, did you? Come to think of it, I think I did. Wait, there's Gina over there, right by the ice cream vendor, presently serving the other Gina ice cream. Both of whom you are friendly with, no doubt. Yes, I swore love to both the Gina non obsessive nights. <laughs> so we're stuck. We can't get out of here until your girlfriend gets tired of waiting for you. Great right, doll. So. Wait, here comes pizza. Oh no, it's a dog. No. I could have swore you were here. Marco, hold up. Come on here, bless. You have a lot to answer for. Can't. Can't? Can't? How dare you be so impudent? Come on, right now. Can't, Your Excellency. We're naked, shamelessly bare. It would give you a chance of re-election no good if the people saw the those with two naked men. Tongues would wag, 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 wag. The those and two naked men. Wag, wag, wag. You know how the people are. There'd never be an obfuscation of whimsy. Extricate yourself from the waters. Oh, well. No, Polo, oh, I can't. Oh, come on, Marco. We can't stay down here forever. Gina, Gina, Maria, Paula, Lily, I can explain it to you. All the way, I have prepared a speech. People of Venice, today is the eve of carnival, and our great city has been overcome by the lost souls of Senior Dante's Inferno. Soon they'll make this city into a hell. The streets will become tedious, narrow, small minded, and the canals will fill with mud and slander. Carnival and innocent laughter will be no more. Mark one poll, you will go forth out of that find redemption for this city. Mark one poll, I will help you in two wings before you leave. As you know, I have just finished my great work. Twenty years in the making, a map of money of unique power. May I help you find a solution? Learn to pick the map from. Finally, so that you're prepared for your arduous journey, I grant you an audience with my brother, the greatest traveler of them all, prosperous 20 years away, who has the name suggests, spent 20 exotic years away from the shores in the wild blue yacht. Pika, send my brother Boston. I think I'm going to just 
know we're here. Yes, and where is here? Why? We're in Constantinople. Constantinople is a very big word. If you can't sell us, you're out. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with him? Love and fear. Oh, really? She's got the same problem, too. Fearful that she'll have to spend another night locked outside her home. Abandoned by her own father, who she does upon. How so? These are strange circumstances and strange times. Have you got time? Ever since the fourth crusade and its aftermath, the emperor of Bethlehem was the You do understand, Constantinople, the greatest city of all, came intact from all sides. Emperor has mistaken his own daughter for an empire. <laughs> While she, poor dear, sobs night after night in Oxford. She has become, well, protective and miserable. Listen to her despair. But the problem is, he's vigilant and is an excellent shot. An excellent shot. <laughs> the other problem is, once you're in, you can't get out. By the emperor's orders, no one's allowed to leave the city until his daughter has been married. But that's ridiculous. Who'd marry him precisely? Who'd marry an eggplant? <laughs> Musaka. <laughs> Doesn't help. Beauty comes at a price. 
equation is to take one half the roots just mentioned. Good. Go on. The root in this type of equation is the root in the problem for us are 10. Therefore, take 5, which multiplied by 12 gives 25. An amount which we have 39 gives us 64. Keep going. Counting and then the square root of this, which is 8, subtract from half the roots, 5, leaving 3. The number 3, therefore, represents one root of the square, which of course is 9. 9, therefore, gives us a square. Ah! Well done, my boy, well done. Now let's do another one. Hey, look, there are two men exchanging hands. So people who expect us to be coming from the west will be surprised to see us coming from the east. Wait, I'll ask these gentlemen where we are. Gentlemen, we thought you were coming from the other direction. See, my theory proved. They thought we were coming the other way. I thought so, too. Gentlemen, welcome to Baghdad. I am Alfred Rizvi, and this is the House of Wisdom, a school set up 20 years ago by Harun al-Rashid, the fifth caliph of Baghdad. These are my students, and we are mathematicians. Can you increase the numbers of my girlfriends? I love to multiply my girlfriends. What's that silly letter you always use, Polo? 20 n to the power of n girlfriends. <laughs> what do you think about that? Gentlemen, in our society, a man is allowed many wives. Such thing is not strange. Did you hear that, Polo? This is great. I've got to say, the world's greatest lover has found his place at last. Gentlemen, where do you come from? What brings you to this part of the world? It's a long story. We come from Venice. Our great city has been overcome by lost souls, which have fallen from the pages of Senior Dante's Divine Comedy. My brother and I have been sent into the world to find a way of returning the city back to life. Well, we've been traveling for a year now, but we ain't found nothing yet. Ain't found nothing yet. Ain't found nothing yet. Ain't found nothing yet. Ain't, Ain't found, found nothing yet. yet. Your city sounds miserable. Why not forget about it? Stay here with us, performing magic twin numbers. What's that? That is the number we call zero. Wow, it looks amazing. What kind of number is it? What does it come after? It's a number that represents nothing. It's the nothing that is.
great. Now we're getting somewhere. No, now you are going nowhere. You're just going to contradict everything I say. There's nothing to contradict. Well, all right then. I don't suppose there's any way of getting out of nowhere. No, no way out of nowhere.
desire, wealth, power, fame. The world, the reflection of this world, is predictable. He was a man I loved, but he destroyed my life. 
No. Yes. <laughs> it was 20 years ago. We were in our prime. Quick. That was his name. Well, something happened to him. Some said he had been bewitched. He became withdrawn, refusing to speak to me, always watching me. I saw a shift in his loyalty. At night, he would toss and turn and talk about his destiny about becoming emperor. Around that time, we celebrated the new year, like we always did. The court assembled and we passed a smile around. Little did I know that Kuei was plotting it. He spent the night sneaking around, wiping the smiles off the guests' faces. People were distracted and confused, didn't know whether they were happy or sad, and blamed each other for the restless ones. No. Yes. <laughs> In our distraction, we didn't see Koi steal through the crowd and at knife point kidnap Gordon. It was his way of driving me mad, killing me. I may have the land and the armies to believe me, he is a far more powerful man. Against his pen mouth open, I gave him like a fish. No. Yes. <laughs> what has he done with her? Killed her spirit. I haven't slept in 20 years. Darkness keeps me awake because it reminds me of The court is miserable. We are a lost soul. Just like Venice. Two ends of the earth united by misery. Of a land between battered and bruised full of dry burgers and dead land. And nothing. You miss her. As you miss your brother. Yes. Yes. Do 
know what's good with me. You say the Doge did. What was he like? Mad. Hardly mad, Marco. Did he talk to travelers? All the time. Especially his brother, Bosphorus, 20 years away. He was always listening to Bosphorus' stories. Ridiculous stories. Lots of nonsense about the dangers of the world and small fat boys walking backwards. <laughs> he had a point. See this scar, small fat boy. Keep walking out of the bed to the river, not me. <laughs> I still can't see how this map changes anything. And it can't help Polo, and it certainly can't help Florida. Wait.
course of a river until we came to a mountain high with fertile slopes covered in beautiful orchids and greenery that was a sight to behold and there on top was a stone shaped like a poised animal and natural looking but definitely hard to the touch and she said this was the solution she gestured excitedly and i understood her clearly she said and as she said so tears flowed from her eyes but she took no comfort from me and then she repeated it biting through her tears saying
appears to collect stars, but they're hard to come by them. Over there, there's a box of clouds. If you listen, you can hear them trying to get out. There's nothing they like better than to be playing about the sky, but it kind of getting out just in case it rains. You're sad. <sighs> yes. Venice. Yes, indeed. Saddest place in the world. Yes, sometimes I wish a gust of wind would blow me away from the shores into the wild blue yard. Pika! Pika! 